I knew of the blues. I'd been working with the blues, but something was haunting me. There was something I wasn't capturing in all the recordings I'd done, all the writing I'd done. These people were not widely known about. There were no academic conferences about the blues, and there were no professors teaching the blues in their music classes. We were such rebels um, and such outsiders in our own society. If we wanted to leave a legacy of what these men had been, and women too, and we had recorded them, we'd written about them, the books had come out, but there was no film. And I thought, why not try? And I thought, well, that's just crazy. How on earth do you make a film? I knew that simply you had to have a camera. We loved the films, of course, and we went to the movies all the time, but he never made any films. So I went and bought a used 16 millimeter, millimeter wind-up camera at a pawn shop. I was absolutely raring to go to, uh, to be part of his crew. In fact, I was the crew. We were staying in cheap motels. We probably won't be able to eat for the rest of the month. Of course, we didn't have much money, but that had never stopped us before doing anything we wanted to do. I had to simply reconcile myself to the fact that this is all the money we had. We had this wind-up camera. We had my tape recorder. We were going to have to work. That was the only way the film was going to be made, and the film had to be made, so I accepted those problems and those limitations. We felt that the context was very important. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to show you that there were family connections like Pink Anderson and his son, which you wouldn't get on a concert stage. There were just dimensions of the personal lives of the musicians that you could only get if you went to document what their living situation was like. Blues was lived in neighborhoods. It was lived in houses. It was lived with the people. And the blues was shaped and formed by the, the just simply the realities of the daily life. What the blues doesn't say is that the great problem creating the blues was racial segregation and discrimination. Hate signs, blacks only, color only, white only, even a merry-go-round in New Orleans. I never saw anyone living the way Sleepy John Estes had lived. I looked out the window and I saw a white man, a large white man, coming up the front walk with a pistol. And I realized that it was the sheriff, he had a badge, and what I knew what Annie knew was that the moment we drove to the end of the street with our little car, that the sheriff was going to come back, and they knew it too. I was so unhappy and so shocked and so sad that this was the life he'd had to live. I was sure this was only going to be one of many films I didn't. I had no idea that this would be the only